finally caught up with you. I've chased you through two universes in the heart of this one. But at last I have you. You. <laughs> you of all people. Somehow I should have realized that you alone could have caught up with me. Do I know you, or are you merely familiar with my reputation? I know you, Rene Corda, but I'm not surprised that you do not know me. I have gone to great lengths to make certain no one would know me. Not friend, not teacher. Do you know me now, teacher? Milo! By Gerzel! Milo! I don't think I ever knew your last name. I don't have a last name. A family name. In fact, you could say that my not having a family name is why I am here right now. Wait. How do I know that you're really Milo at all? I've seen that you could change your features. Tell me something that'll prove that you are really my old student. Hmm, let's see. I'd better find something that wouldn't be in the biographies of the great René Corda. I know. In my beginner's class, there was a pretty little blonde, perky, with an odd sense of humor. She called you... Stop! Enough. Well, what's wrong? I thought you were rather sweet on her. I thought that would be a pleasant memory from our mutual past. Yeah, boss. I want to hear more. What did she call you? Was it better than Sugar Pop? That's it exactly. Please. Have you forgotten our situation? I was under the impression that you had something serious to confide in me. Confide? Well, at least explain. Is anyone likely to follow you here? No. Alacra is at a regatta, and I don't think the rest of his staff has access to this particular area. Good. Then make yourself comfortable. It's a long story. I'll keep watch. Remember, I'm a native of Siswig on the planet Pasqua. Pasqua? That rings a bell. Yes, that was the planet that was destroyed by a fleet of pirates. Seven fleets, actually. Seven of the most ferocious space pirates of the day joined forces to rape my world. Their combined fleets melt mined the most promising metals and minerals from orbit. They sold every able-bodied person they could capture into the infamous warrens of Galu slave markets and executed everyone else they could find with a slow burn over all the areas of major habitation. But you escaped. I was rescued. My grandmother had been a Ditson cyber commander and she still had the combat implants. She arrived home from her weekly night out, grabbed me and wiped out the squad of pirates who had killed our family. She was indeed. To avoid the slow burn, Grandma Dolby and I hid in one of the abandoned mines outside of Siswig. After that, we scrounged from the land for six months before a tramp freighter chanced in system. Despite having me to care for, Grandma didn't waste her time while we were hoping for a ship. From rubble in the ruins, she pieced together who had been behind the raid. She made me memorize names and other data. When we left Pasqua, Grandma raised me with the help of some off-world relatives. She worked out the training I would need to get revenge. Martial arts, universe building, face sculpting. I think I see where this is heading. That's right, teacher. I'm the last survivor of the Pasqua wipeout. Grandma Dolby died when I was 17. I firmly believe that when she used her cyber implants to save me, she cut her own life short. She knew that, too. That's why she spent the last years of her life readying me for a job she wouldn't be alive to do herself. I swore on her grave that I would finish that training and bring Pasqua's killers to justice. And Pasqua's killers are... You've guessed it. The wealth behind God's pockets. The wealth that built those seven pocket universes is the blood of my homeworld, Pasqua. You know a shrike is a bird, often called a butcher bird. It has the nasty habit of impaling its prey on thorns. That's what I'm going to do with the pirates who destroyed Pasqua. 
impale them on the thorns of justice, or failing that, destroy them. So that's why your ship has that odd name. No offense, but I prefer Jester. So might I, little lady. But fate didn't work out that way for me. Now, you must be wondering why I've told you this long tale. I have, but I've also been willing to listen. Most people I would have knocked out from the get-go. But when you walked in, I thought, Corda is a good man. A talented man. He's just the ally I need. So let me put it bluntly. Will you join me in my quest for revenge and justice? If you will agree to turn yourself in as well when all this is done, I agree to help you. That way, not only do you honor your vow to Grandma Dolby, but I honor my contract to the old Terran government. Of course I'll turn myself in then. How else can I testify against the pirates? If that gets me a prison sentence, well, that is the price of vengeance. Then we have a deal? We have a deal. Now, I've shut down herbs and orans. It should be easy enough to gather up Dieter and Dwister when the time comes. If we shut off Fortuna... When I was in pursuit of you, I reactivated both herbs and orans. By Gerzel. Now those villains are free again. We'll need to start all over. I'm not certain that they were ever trapped. Both of those gentlemen apparently had access to bottled time. They were leaving their universes in stasis while they tried to figure out who had assaulted them. I see. They were more suspicious than I had even considered. Fine. Then we must assume that Alacra will also have bottled time. That's a fair guess. So, when we put Fortuna into stasis, Alacra will know what has happened and get very suspicious. Our only advantage will be that he will assume that I have failed. That's right. He won't count on both of us. I wish we knew where he is right now. Last I heard, he was going to participate in a regatta. He's probably still there. Then we have a chance to intercept him. First, we need to get this world into stasis. After we have Alacra, we can discuss our next move. Lights and sounds in the shape of a pyramid. Interesting. Nice office.